The great crisis of our time, the climate and ecological emergency, it's not just a political crisis. It goes much deeper than that. It's a spiritual crisis. So I've become increasingly interested in seeking to think how we can confront that crisis. And in doing so, how we can ensure that spirituality doesn't remain a matter of an essentially private effort to better oneself and to have one's own private journey to enlightenment and how climate action and climate politics can really absorb the crucial rewards and lessons and insights that only an, an approach which is as deep as a spiritual approach goes can bring. I've been thinking about these things for some time. I've given talks, for example, at the famous Schumacher College on these questions. But in this residency, I'm going to go much deeper into these matters. And well, I'd love to explore them with you. My name is Rupert Reed, and on the 24th of March, I'll be beginning a month-long residency at the Life Itself Hub in Bergerac, France, where we'll be gathering a small group of very distinguished folk who have a lot to contribute on this question, to think through this great crisis of our time, and to approach the key topics in eco-spirituality in a way that will bring together the macro and the micro. I'm very interested in the importance of self-acceptance in spirituality. And I want to project that micro concern onto a much larger concern. What if we were to seek to accept that the current state of the world is actually perfect, is actually ideal? That seems crazy from the perspective of taking seriously and authentically the catastrophe of climate and ecological damage that we're facing. But I wonder if it's not so crazy, if we really include in our understanding of the world as it is right now, our response to it, our emotional, psychological and spiritual response. And that's what I'm going to seek to do with you. I very much hope that you'll want to join me.